Good morning all. In the previous video, we had discussed what bearing capacity of soil is. We had discussed what gross ultimate bearing capacity is, what net ultimate bearing capacity means, what the net safe bearing capacity means, etc. And we had moved on to the three different types of shear failures. Number one being the general shear failure. Then you have the local shear failure. Then you have the punching shear failure. Now, we'll now move to a very important topic Tasagi's bearing capacity theory. Now this theory is very popular and is considered as widely as a benchmark theory for estimation of bearing capacity. Though over time there have been quite a lot of bearing capacity theories proposed by Vesic, Meyerhoff, etc. Tasagi's bearing capacity theory still holds good and is widely popular plus it was the first theory proposed to estimate the bearing capacity with an engineering background. Now, Tazagi considered a strip footing like this, which would probably be having its foundation to support a wall. Now, a strip footing simply means that it extends to a greater extent, extent perpendicular to this, to this board you can see. So, in short, length by breadth ratio is greater than 10 is usually considered as a strip footing it's usually called a plain strain case also but still it's a strip footing and he took the cross section of this which is shown here and it's assumed to be kept at the depth of df and it's assumed to have a breadth of b now this strip footing let's say is acted upon by a load q now Tasagi proposed that when this strip footing cross section of which is shown here is acted upon by Lord Q, the soil beneath the footing level tries to fail in shear by forming three zones of failure. Number one is like this, a punching zone. I have marked it at, a, as one here and it's a triangular one with an angle phi, angle of internal friction, with respect to the base of the footing. And the second and the third zones would look like this. This is a second zone. Again, this is also a second zone, symmetrical with respect to the footing's axis. This one is a third zone. Of course, you have a symmetrical uh, point here as well. So you have zone 2 and zone 3. Again, zone 2 and zone 3. The angle is marked as 45 minus 5 by 2 and zone 3 is acted upon by a surcharge load gamma df in short this is a foundation level above that you have the ground level so the weight of the soil the stress of the soil in the region of df depth is equal to gamma into df so that has to be acting on this level on zone 3 now the assumptions proposed by Tazagi include the base of the footing is rough which means the footing is not smooth there will be angle of interface friction the footing is shallow which means df is less than b the load on the footing is vertical and uniformly distributed which means q is purely vertical and is distributed uniformly and not eccentric footing is long which means l by b ratio is infinite as you can see in this picture this is length l this is breadth b he considered this footing to be of l by b ratio infinite next one more coulomb relation is obeyed by the soil you may recollect that more coulomb equation says that s is equal to c plus sigma times phi c being the cohesion sigma being the effective stress phi being the angle of internal friction shear strength of the soil above the base of the footing is neglected which means the failure line will end at the foundation level the shear failure the shear strength of the soil above the foundation or the footing level is neglected and this does not ex uh, extend to the ground level so these are the assumptions put forth by Tezaghi to arrive at an equation for strip footing now the equation is this 
QU, ultimate bearing capacity, is equal to CNC plus gamma DF NQ plus half gamma B and gamma. This is a very important equation and you'll have to buy hard that. You'll have to understand that and then you'll have to buy hard that. Now the zone 1, like I said, is called the punching zone. Zone 2 is a zone of radial shear and zone 3 is the passive zone. Now the terms on this equation are listed here. C is the cohesion of soil in kilopascal. Gamma, the unit weight in kilonewton per meter cube. DF, as shown in figure, is the depth of the footing in meters. B is the breadth of the footing in meters. And the most important terms and the ones that you may not be familiar with till now is NC, NQ and N gamma. Now these three terms are called bearing capacity factors proposed by Tesagi and it's usually interpolated from graphs provided. There are equations relating NC, NQ, N gamma to angle of internal friction phi but still it's the practice of following the graphs are usually easier for us to get the values of NC, NQ and N gamma. Now if as the assumption says, this is for a strip footing. This equation is for a strip footing. CNC plus gamma DF NQ plus half gamma B and gamma equal to the ultimate load was proposed for a strip footing. But when you have a square footing, the equation gets modified to 1.2 CNC plus gamma DF NQ plus 0.4 gamma B and gamma. Again, if you have a circular footing, the equation would be 1.3 CNC plus gamma DFNQ plus 0.3 gamma B and gamma. For a rectangular footing, the general equation is 1 plus 0.2 B by L here and 1 minus 0.2 B by L here. In short, rectangular footing turns out to be a square footing when you have B equal to L. So this equation gets modified to 1.2 CNC plus gamma DFNQ plus 0.4 gamma B and gamma when B is equal to L. And for a local shear failure case, he proposed the equation with a factor 2 by 3. 2 by 3 CNC plus gamma DFNQ plus half gamma B and gamma. Now, like I mentioned in the previous slide, you can actually refer to different tables or graphs to estimate NC, NQ and N gamma. Now this is a, is a table which gives you the relation of NC, NQ and N gamma proposed by Tesagi against the phi values. For instance, for angle of internal friction is equal to 30 degrees, Tesagi proposed NC as 37.2, NQ as 22.5 and N gamma as 19.7. The Indian standard values corresponding to these angle of internal friction 30 degree are shown besides. With well, as I get proposed 19.7, IS code proposes 22.4, etc. etc. Now if you refer any standard textbooks, you can see this representation on a graphical plot as well. When you have phi estimator from the soil parameters you can get the values of NC, NQ and N gamma from the graphs.